Russia is stepping up its efforts to build substantial obstacle barriers to slow the advance of Ukrainian forces in key locations it is defending, including around the devastated city of Mariupol, the UK Ministry of Defense has said. Its intelligence assessment on Tuesday said the Russian military was using two plants in occupied Mariupol to produce large numbers of dragon's teeth, pyramidal concrete blocks designed to slow advancing military vehicles. The production and placement of the blocks in conjunction with razor wire and mines is the latest indication of how Russia's struggling forces are increasingly attempting to transition to more defensive warfare, not least on the key southern Kherson front on the east bank of the Dnieper River. Dragon's teeth have likely been installed between Mariupol and Nikolsky village, and from northern Mariupol to Staryi Krim village. Mariupol forms part of Russia's land bridge, from Russia to Crimea, a key logistics line of communication. Dragon's teeth have additionally been sent for the preparation of defensive fortifications in occupied Zaporizhia and Kherson, the intelligence assessment said. The Institute for the Study of War think tank also noted the continuing efforts by Russia to improve its defenses in the south. Geolocated satellite defensive lines in Kakovka, 43 miles 70 kilometers east of Kherson city, Ola Pristin, 5 miles southwest of Kherson city, and Ivanivka, 37 miles southwest of Kherson city, all of which lie on the east bank of the Dnieper River, it said. Typically used in conjunction with natural features, obstacle barriers are used to slow and block approaching enemy forces, and redirect them towards locations where they can be engaged. Their deployment is part of the toolkit of many militaries, and experts point out that for them to be useful requires skillful placement of the barriers, as well as both effective observation and placement of artillery systems to guard them. Retired Australian General Mick Ryan said the increasing Russian efforts to place obstacle barriers could reflect both military and domestic political needs. First, the construction on these obstacle belts demonstrates the political importance of the areas where they are being installed. Important point to note is that given the coming influx into Ukraine of large numbers of poorly trained, recently mobilized troops. The big question in Ukraine is whether these obstacles have been designed and placed primarily for their military effect, or if they are purely there for a political narrative back in Russia. The focus on Russia's improvement of its defenses came as Kremlin-installed authorities in Ukraine's southern region of Kherson said that power had been fully restored to its main city, after blaming Kyiv for attacks that disrupted water and electricity supplies. Kherson city was the first urban hub to be captured by Russia after Moscow announced its special military operation in February and it has suffered outages after strikes on Sunday for which Moscow and Kyiv have traded blame. There is electricity, despite sabotage and attacks, Kirill Stremisov, the Russian-appointed deputy head of the Kherson region, said on social media. Ukraine troops have been pushing closer towards the city in recent months and its capture by Kyiv would be a significant defeat for Moscow. The news on Sunday of the outages followed reports from Russian officials that the Kakaka Dam, also in Kherson, had been damaged by a Ukrainian strike. The dam supplies the Crimean Peninsula, which Moscow annexed in 2014 and was used as a launch pad for the beginning of the campaign in Ukraine. Separately, the Russian security services announced the arrest of nine members of an intelligence and sabotage group of Ukraine's forces. The FSB in a statement accused the group of having planned attacks against senior Russian-installed officials working in Kherson. Explosives, grenades, ammunition and a car bomb were seized during the arrests and an investigation into international terrorism was opened, the FSB said. As Ukraine presses a counteroffensive in the south, Moscow's forces